Hi everybody, I'm Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. Recently I went to see Zero Dark Thirty, which is the story about <coughs> how Bin Laden was found and ev eventually executed. And um, I like to think that this story is a little bit more accurate than what was presented in the media, because in the film, the women weren't armed, and when we saw the actual news reports, the Navy SEALs were talking about how the, the women were armed, <coughs> who were surrounding Osama at the time, and I thought, well, why didn't they mention that or depict that in the film? I guess it didn't really happen. Uh, they did have Khalid, one of the younger boys, uh, running up the stairwell and hiding. It, he, he got clipped, which that did occur. Um, I thought that the movie itself was really exceptionally done. I thought that the torture scenes in and of themselves of uh, the Al-Qaeda operatives were really, really hard to watch. Very difficult. And I just don't know if I am for torture tactics at all. I just think it's inhumane. Um, this reminds me of chats I used to have with a, a Turkish friend of mine, one that I, I don't hear from any longer. I have other friends from Turkey, but, but this particular friend that I had from Turkey was really berserk. He loved to hear stories about our U.S. droids blowing up some Al-Qaeda operatives, and he would say, guess how many they killed today? He would, he would come on MSN before my MSN got hacked by whoever, uh, and he would tell me, they caught, they killed so many hundred today, and Saddam just got hanged, and it's just, one of those things that I, I just got tired of hearing it and I just thought, well, <sighs> they really have to die? I mean, I know this is probably going to get me flames, but I just, <sighs> seeing people die from either side, I, I think is very, very sad and tragic. And I know these men did horrible things, and unfortunately they in the name of uh, religion. And it's not in the true sense of Islam. I've read the Quran twice. I am a Protestant. Uh, I don't really define myself by that label because Christianity in and of itself has <laughs> earned itself a scarlet A over the years. Or I should say a scarlet K for killing and martyrdom just because people wouldn't convert and ugh, I just really don't have that much to say about the religion it's although it wasn't only meant to be like that and the founding fathers of the religion just didn't mean for it to turn out to be this way and some people are just so closed minded and that's what the extremists are they're just uh, they're the type of people that think that their way is the only way and they force other people to try to bleed the way they do and it's just this is not how um, a creed should be in all honesty um, this is why I have issues with both sides and the ethics involved and they show both sides of, of the uh, of the pursuit of Bin Laden and the, and the people that were involved. Um, I'd like to think that it was probably more apropos and uh, gritty than what we were shown through the media. I, I'd like to think that Europe probably had a better understanding of it than America did. I don't know why so many things are censored over here. Maybe they think we can't handle the truth. 
I'd rather that we would get the facts on everything and we're really not. I'm afraid that they're still torturing people over there like they had in Abu Ghraib and ugh, don't even get me started on that but it's just so hard to wonder whether you're supporting a cause or what it's all for. I mean I'm okay with the fact that we have troops over there and I support the troops. Yes I do. I, I mean it's as far as me being a patriot. I'm not a blind patriot, though. I'm not going to wave my flag blindly uh, without knowing what exactly happens. There are people who die on both sides, and this film actually underlines that fact, which I think is so wonderfully portrayed. And uh, I really think it deserves five stars and two thumbs way, way up. And really, it's a very suspenseful film that keeps you on the edge of your seat, even though if you know history as well as I do and, and live through it like I have, then you know what's coming, and you know how it's going to end. <laughs> but I really think that it is a uh, magnificent film, and it brings a lot of things to light and makes you think quite a bit. And I just think that even those people who have uh, chosen such a lifestyle, even they deserve a dignified burial. I, I just think, as human beings are concerned, they deserve that chance just to, to be honored in death, even though they have had uh, committed so many atrocities. I just, I don't think it's right to. Uh, to let somebody die without being mourned, and it just, it bothers me, and I, I, I know I, I'm going to get flamed for this, God forgive me, but they're human beings, and they deserve that right of passage. I mean, if I were a dictator, and I rule with an iron fist, I, I would want to be buried with respect as well. I wouldn't want, well, even if I were assassinated, that, you know, that goes without saying I probably would be if that happened. I'm just, it's part of being human, I think, and that's one thing that this film brought up for me, is that whole idea. Um, I'm not really sure what else to say about this movie, other than I really enjoyed it, and it really gave me a lot of food for thought and uh, I think that if you're a fan of this kind of movie and you like history like I do and controversy then definitely go see it because it's, it's worth your while um, it's one of the first movies I've seen in a long time that's been directed by a woman which I thought was fantastic. I really think that this directress did a, a stellar job. She did not receive a Golden Globe or um, an Oscar for her portrayal or depiction or her story, and I think she should have, even though it would have been entirely political if she did. I know Argo did. <laughs> that goes without saying that, uh, what are you going to do? It's really a good movie, and it should be seen, and uh, I just feel that um, we weren't entirely wrong in what we did, but uh, we only destroyed one part of the contagion. It's, it's still a contagion. Uh, I must say that... I don't know if I am for or against what's going on. I, I have friends who are involved in this sort of thing. And, uh, I, like I said, I support the troops. I just do not support the war. And we should never have gotten involved when, uh, if you've seen Charlie Wilson's war, um, he actually warns them not to go into Afghanistan. And, honestly, we should have heeded Charlie's warning. Uh, <laughs> for obvious reasons. But it's just like we're repeating history again. 
and this this war just keeps going on and on and on and on. And now we got this thing in um, uh, Mali with uh, the French and ourselves as allies. We're allies again. Imagine that. Um, but it's just like, what is this? It's happening again. And then we have some people that are getting held hostage. We had three from America, we had some from France, Australia, Norway, Canada, uh, Japan, I think. Yeah, those were all of the hostages. But, uh, anyway, I'm sorry, I, I got a little bit off track, and it just, it's things like that that kind of steam me a little bit, and get me a thinking, and just wondering when we're ever going to get along, and I'd like to think that we have it in ourselves to do that, if we take, uh, the right path, and just realizing we are all human beings, living on a, a shared planet, and we should act as such, but, <laughs> Uh, not everybody is going to do that, and I had to face facts that there are some people that will just, um, do whatever they can to make it to the top, and unfortunately that's what you see in, in this, and just the whole idea of my way is the right way, and your way is completely incorrect, and therefore I will destroy you because of it. This has been going on for ages and ages, and if you've seen um, Mankind, the story of all of us, then you know where I'm going with that. But um, it's just a really intriguing movie, and it's thought-provoking, and it makes you really mull these things over in your head, and I'm hoping I'm not going to get any flames for all the things I just said, but th these are convictions that are deep within my heart, and uh, I think that Mankind itself is redeemable and has many redeemable qualities, and I think that we have a lot of potential uh, to make ourselves better and to improve ourselves, and I, I'd like to think that we can achieve peace. I really, really do. I, my prayer every year around uh, Christmas and beyond Christmas is for world peace, to, to create unity within our, uh, within our planet. And I know that it's possible, but they just, people have to start thinking alike, and, uh, well, I wouldn't say thinking alike, you have to have the ability to have free will, I'm all for that, <laughs> you have to have, uh, people, uh, giving them the ability to express themselves, basically, just be themselves, and not be, con uh, contained by any set doctrines and rules, whatever, but it's just, uh, something that we're all going to have to work on, and, and maybe even face in the near future. We, we may just have to work as a team, and there's nothing wrong with us. We just have to be open, and we have to be able to surrender to whatever may come. So, I think we need to be prepared for whatever comes in the future. Uh, as well as knowing that more information will come our way, and uh, we can either use that information for good or for ill. And uh, if we know what's good for us, we'll try to help one another. Since after all, we're we're all related. If if we think about it, we we really are. Our DNA is very similar, and. Um, we all share the same characteristics, so we just have to remember that somewhere, somehow, some way, we are the product of a, a great ancestor uh, millennia ago, and uh, we happen to be half cousins, I think it is. I, I'm not sure how it goes, but uh, we just have to remember that this planet is our home, and we have to share it to the best of our ability, and if, if we don't do it, we, we may destroy it in ourselves, so we need to be more cautious in the future, I think, and that's what, that's why I feel Zero Dark Thirty really preaches to 
uh, its audience, and I think that the message was heard loud and clear. And it truly is a movie that is absolutely sensational, and I highly recommend it.